Greetings humans, Spinning Mantis here with the next episode of Valiant Hearts. In the last episode, as Freddy, we went and took care of these artillery... Um... Artillery... Barracks... Uh, I don't know. Anyway, now we are Emile, and we are trying to take Fort Dumont. So... See, Freddy's already been through here. Bopped everybody on the head. Whole lot of bopping. Okay. I guess we just gotta go join our our friends. Oh. So we don't have the dog. Huh. I can whack one of them. Not both, though. Couldn't I just get dressed up in the uniform and pretend so? <coughs> Went through this whole area before and there was really nothing to do, so maybe this is where I'm supposed to be. Yeah, I gotta go dig out up here. Guess we're just trying to catch up with, uh... Oof. Okay. Let's see what this is about. Blueprint. The blueprint for Anna's father's latest invention, a four-stroke engine. That's quite some machine. What on earth is it? Okay, so there's this chain... Above me? Ah. Ha, 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 ha. So I gotta help them. Hmm. Oh, good. That seemed to work pretty good. Missed. Let's try for one more. Okay, it just falls in the back. Okay. Let's see what this does. Uh oh. Huh. Well, I did not do that correctly. This seems to be a puzzle we're going to have to figure out on the fly. So we definitely got one dynamite down onto the tank, which I think we still want to do. Oh, yeah, 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 do it, do it, do it. Boom. Come on, you can't tell me that. Gotta do it multiple times, I guess. Yeesh. I have to hit it just right. Okay. Maybe we can do it this time. It seems pretty straightforward, I guess. Just gotta, gotta load it up a couple times. Okay. Get up there. Dang 
dang. Yeah. I'm not doing as good this time. Crap. Ah. Uh. Wow, okay, well, we're gonna have to try this a couple more times, because, uh, it's quite particular about what it wants you to do in a short period of time. We'll get it. Wait. Okay. Everyone's going through. She just gotta pepper it. Ah. Fudge sickles. There's one. It's gonna be two. It's two. Maybe three. Gotcha. Yes, you, you jerk. Oh. I'm blowing the whole place up. There's a lot going on. Ah, uh, so that's sort of explaining maybe how the story Despite happened the when it blew up. Destruction, the Germans held their position. The mission was a failure. Hmm. Oh. Is that the whole game? Oh? Okay, chapter three. I think maybe this is three chapters, not five. I don't know. The poppy fields. My darling, war has taken away a very dear friend. He was like a brother to me, and his death affects me much more than I could imagine. In happier news, Carl is safe from the trenches and his condition improves steadily. I'll go and see him on my next leave. And what about you? How are you? Are things in St. Miel any better? Carl discovered things were not, in fact, any better. According to Marie's last letter, his son had fallen gravely ill. Oh, no. Carl had come to a decision. This war would never end. He had to escape. It's usually not a good idea to uh, try to escape when you're in the military. Usually not a good idea, because they will kill you. Oh, hey, Anna. Hey, girl. Was? Go get water. Meat for the dog. Yes, we get to meet for the dog. Life in prisoner of war camps. Even in captivity, class differences still counted. Some camps were reserved for officers and others for foot soldiers. Prisoners were generally underfed, even more so if the local population was also undernourished. Prisoners of war replaced civilians at the front and were forced to work in munitions factories, on farms, or down mines. It's, it's, I don't know, it's very odd that, like in war, you can basically enslave people and make them work for you. 
He needs oh, no. some grain. I am not seeing very much of anything here. Nah. Hey, buddy. Snot Frantique. Suspenders. This is a pretty convoluted one, I am not sure. Not really sure what we should be doing on this one right now. Maybe I can get suspenders in here. I got the Asta dabei. It's like, don't go that way. Ah, he needs the pipe. So, how do we get this dude out of the way? Oh. That must be the officers. Wow, this is like a very big area. What a Interhunk Mallet. Yeah, buddy. There's a bit of water, yo. Im hunger spheres. Okay, okay. I think we can figure this out. Ooh, ooh, ooh. German identification tag. German tags are Kennungsmarken were not the same for all soldiers at the start of the war. The shape, materials used, and even the information changed, depending on the region from which the soldier came. In September 1915, a standard model was introduced, a disc with soldiers' names, dates, and places of birth, and regimental details. The model was replaced in late 1916. Okay. Should work. Right? see what's going on so it's gonna go all the way up around and out so there's something outside that we're not seeing oh I get it hmm So why is it not coming back from out there? So there, that goes to there. It's that one. Mm-hmm. 
So this almost looks like it. Why doesn't it just go? So this goes from here down. Yeah, it's not working. Okay. Okay, brain power. Don't really think this is something that requires a hint. But I thought it was good that I was going up out there, but for some reason it does not return back. This looks like it's set up correctly to go all the way from the water tower, out the building somehow. So maybe we have to go outside the building and fix something. Crazy. Gotta fix that pipe. Really? Was it that simple? Oh, okay then. It is working. Shower is working. Grab a coal. There you go, buddy. So this is like that, uh... Ah, the suspendies. Um, that game, the shower, rub a dub dub, bear man in the shower game that Geek Remix was playing. So the beds, now that guy is all like, oh, need some suspenders, and I will give you the thing. Give us medicine for the suspenders. I don't know who needs the medicine. Good command. All right, good job there, Hans. So we got medicine. I still don't. This guy needs a pipe. This dude wants some pipe and some tobacco. And so the pipe and tobacco people are back there, I think. I have not been in here. Oh, that dude! Alright! Hey, thanks, buddy. That was cool. I don't know if we need to do anything else in here. I needed the bandana for some reason. I don't know what's next. Need a diary. May 8th, 1916. I've been stuck here in this POW camp south of Riem for 11 months now. My health is picking up and I'm even walking again at last. All thanks to Anna. Marie's last letter worried me. Victor is very sick and they don't have the resources to take care of him in Samia. I must get out of here. These guys don't look very friendly. Okay. So that is all there is down there. Notebook. Many soldiers had notebooks in which they wrote their diaries and memoirs. These notebooks provided historians with first-hand account of the horrors of war experienced by soldiers. So we've been in the water house. We did all this. Guess we could take the piece of coal just for, for giggles. Okay. 
So the bed area. Hmm. Oops. Oh. Ah, that's why we needed it. We are now the guard and we have relieved him. Now we get to pipe. Oh, ho. Oh. So we're part of the crew. Now we're part of the red bandana crew. Well enough, well enough. Now we go back to the uh, food person. And give him the pipe. This is a pretty elaborate puzzle, but fairly intuitive. Biscuit box. Prisoners suffered from hunger in camps and food was often stolen. This metal box was handmade to contain bread or biscuits. Its owner would could take his food reserves with him as when he went to work to avoid them being stolen. So uh, makes sense. Oh, I need the meat. I need the meat for the the doggy. Is it upstairs I want to go? I do not know. No, can't throw through there. So, I am supposed to throw these tomatoes to somehow get this meat. That does not seem to work. It looks like I'm supposed to climb up. Maybe I could move the uh, move this back. The only thing that did anything though is blocks me further. I'm not supposed to be up there. This one seems kind of like it should be more obvious as to what I should be doing. Those other things are they like flypaper? Uh huh. They are busted wood, like old crappy wood. So this is a skill shot. Shazam! Alright, this was a very, 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 very convoluted, uh... Ah, we want to find Anna. Oh, snippers. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I am not quite sure what we should be doing. <laughs> it's like, okay, you're dead. Oh, we found a bush. Nice, nice bushes. That had to be what we were supposed to do, though. Didn't really offer us any options, or... Cool. Blow her up? Oh my god, we finally learned Freddy's story, like what happened. 
on his wedding day at the church? Whoa, that would certainly give me an inhuman will for revenge. Okay, not let me do anything right now. There we go, buddy. That was... That was intense. Gotcha. We need to do electric things. Oh, cool. Armored vehicles. Assault artillery was invented during the war in an attempt to break through enemy lines. The first prototypes of armored vehicle appeared. Generals noted that vehicles fitted with wheels were ineffective in a trench environment. Engineers thus worked on prototypes to overcome the problem, and caterpillar tracks proved to be the perfect solution to the problem, which they still use on tanks today. Caterpillar tracks. Flashlights. Flashlights were common in the trenches. The army issued flashlights were made to fit a cartridge belt and function with batteries. I don't think I've ever seen that kind of flashlight before. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. Broken German bayonet. This long, broad, flat German bayonet was designed to thrust into the enemy's ribcage and break his ribs. <coughs> oh, get away! Ah, oh, thank you, little guy. Hmm. Maybe that is not the solution. Need to get some dynamite to blow something up. Okay, nope. Nope. I don't think that's right. exactly where I wanted it. I wonder if it is as complicated as that. Go now. Oh yeah. Good job, pup. Good job. The Germans and Austrians only knew. How you were the the guy who won the war for the the allies. What do we need another one? Oh we got a tank. We got a tank. We got a tank. We just supposed to get the other way.
Okay, there, there we go. He's like, I gotta go do something. I gotta go do some things. Dead rat. A dead rat wasn't garbage, especially a dead rat on a skewer, which would be spit roasted for dinner. You can't reason with a starving man. Very true, very true. If you're starving to death, the rats are like, okay, I'll eat that. German coins. The German currency, the mark, underwent rapid devaluation during the war to help the German Empire provide for the war effort. German soldiers were as poorly paid as their allied enemies and earned just under 16 marks a month, or 50 pounds, 84 US dollars in today's currency per month. Okay, there's things. There's things over here. Hmm. Oh, uh, this guy could probably go and bust that up. I don't know if it lets us get back in. Nope. Not right now. It doesn't want to let us get back in. They're like, ah, there's this puzzle we must solve. sense so what shape do we want to make oh he wants to so that is a rotated square that and then a triangle oh you have to set them all up first no nope, that's not the right part Close, but no cigar. So, the square has to be like that. Huh. Is that it? Um, I don't think it is. That's definitely not it. So there's only two ways to do this. Like that, and then there's this thing. I don't know what this is supposed to do. Mask something else out. Nope. That, that could be it. That could be the right thing. Wasn't it? Ok, 
Okay, now you just need only a diagonal square. Bam, there you go. We gon' fire the cannon. Yeah. Okay, I wasn't quite sure. Oh, oh, I see what's going on. I see what's going on. We want to move it over. Cool. Now I think we gotta move it down. Puppy. We are like the dream team. We got our tank going on. Look at this. Shabam. Oh, you only take one hit. It's kind of surprising, but okay. Job on the artilleries. Oh, blew up the whole building. meant to happen. Back in her up. There we go. <laughs> 
surprisingly varied gameplay in this game. I am just plodding along, just popping, popping, popping. Right. Gonna destroy all man in nature. Lucky Freddy was given a hero's welcome by the French forces. Lucky Emilio Freddy wrote to Anna to let her know that her father was free and out of harm's way. Freddy and Emile's reunion, however, would be short lived. May 14th, 1916, Freddy was sent to the Somme, while Emile's regiment was quartered near a small village at the top of a hill. The village was called Oqua. This is where the conflict had moved underground, holed up in their trenches, the two camps dug tunnels and galleries. The underground war had begun. Okay, everybody, that is a good place to end this episode. We got a lot done, advanced the story quite a bit, um, defeated the bad guy, and moved on to the next section of the game. Um, I hope you're enjoying this. If you are, I really appreciate it if you like and subscribe and join me next time for the next episode of Valiant Hearts. That's all for now. Spinning Mantis out. Namaste.